some of the key highlights so far, I think, have been, uh, we started off with a, a really great overview of, uh, of the future vertical lift program and, and, uh, and where that's going. You know, really a, a longer term effort that'll probably uh, realize starting in the late 2020s, early 2030s. Uh, we've had some great overviews on uh, a variety of different helicopter systems that are currently in production. Uh, a really good industry panel that, uh, that talked about the challenges of, of working with uh, the different uh, security and defense departments and, uh, and how to better those relationships. So I think we've had uh, quite, a, quite a bit of good fruitful discussion on the first, uh, first day. Well, I think it's important that, that uh, the, the community of interest, if you will, that's focused on uh, military aviation get together to uh, discuss their various challenges uh, and how they, uh, how they can overcome them. Uh, I think we're all facing a lot of the, a lot of the similar challenges, both with uh, uh, recruiting, training of our pilots, handling increasingly complex systems, and so it's a great opportunity to problem solve together. But really, more importantly, uh, I think we've found that uh, over the last uh, 15 years of uh, operational uh, cooperation that, that, uh, that trust and networking is kind of the foundational effort for cooperation. And so our efforts uh, in a future endeavor will be based on the relationships we make today. Yeah, we've got a great collection of vendors here uh, displaying a variety of different capabilities. And I think it's important to have that. Uh, uh, it's one thing to, to sit in a lecture hall and, and talk about uh, the various challenges and capabilities, et cetera. But it's always nice to, to be able to get hands on a capability or to, the, to talk to the true expert about something. It, it provides a, a much greater context and detail. And so it adds a little bit more flavor to the, to the overall discussion.